a wild day in the markets. Uh, looked like for a while, uh, you know, we were gonna, you know, hit the flush, but the market came back, uh, tested a little bit of support or got close to it, and then uh, it looks like another late day rumor saved the day, and the market made a, a really impressive run, um, closing, you know. Right, right near highs of the day. So what can you say? Overall, uh, you have to be pretty happy with that close if you're a bull. What you don't want to see, though, and what's annoying is, you know, when you're starting to really, you know, break down intraday and look like you're going to break some levels and then, you know, some type of random rumor, rumor that you can't really predict uh, comes in and, and turns everything out the other way and then you end up uh, rushing to find some long positions and see if you can eke out a, you know, a scalp or a day trade or something like that. Uh, it's a nimble man's game right now. So who knows what will happen tomorrow, whether today's rally uh, at the end of the day was real or was just a, you know another kind of head fake remains to be seen but uh, it's a nimble man's market that's really all i can say about it uh this is kind of our line in the sand so look at you know s p uh 1310 is our support zone and then you know we've, we're right at resistance again and so you know we're really going to need to kind of come back out of this um congestion as long as we're you know boxed in by these two major moving averages the trading is going to be choppy till that resolves itself and you break a break out of it one way or another let's take a look at the watch list real quick uh clne uh, we're right at the sweet spot here um you know we need a break or that 50 day moving average to get this thing going but it's got a good look to it i tried to play this today and i bought a little bit too high then the market tanked and i had to take it take it off with the 15 cent loss and i actually abandoned my original stop loss and if i hadn't i probably uh, still would have this and so uh, i'll be looking to get back in it again tomorrow third time's a charm but i definitely like the look of it uh igt this is a a soft casino software company we're flagging here i think this one runs to the 200 day moving average uh, idcc i really like the look of this one too it's been just kind of resting the last couple days but it's getting ready for a run once it kind of gets out of uh you know kind of gets out of this range it did tail above that um for a hot second a few days ago but i'm really looking at this particular uh level of resistance around 29 to get this thing going STEI, a real clean, real clean chart here in terms of line in the sand is at uh, seven flag pattern. It's a little bit thin at times, so you're going to need some volume in this thing. EMMS, uh, you know, we added this thing at like 169 in the chat room, and I ended up selling it pretty much flat um, as the market started to dump. But it's got a nice volume the last couple days. It's really starting to peak out. 179 is the 52 week high it's in breakout territory right now this is a very very powerful pattern um you know typically when you see these you do see explosive plays gtat this five dollars is you know this five areas a level of interest ubnt this one's really coiled up it, it, it every day it makes an attempt to make a run and then it just kind of fades back but it's it's very close it's it's coiling uh, what you're going to do need to do is use like a 10 day 30 minute chart to kind of go back through this last 10 days and really um, you know time the entry but we're right in this area uh, BVSN still watching this one for that big break I, I do think that we're going to see 15 MITK still flagging needs to get over this 4 level it can't do it it kind of creeps up to 4 and then dies Mela not a bad day today for Mela up 4% um, this three dollars is kind of the level of interest. If we do that, we run to three twenty-five, and then uh, CBOU, you know, over thirteen really gets it going. But it's right under that fifty-day moving average right now, which could start to propel this thing and fill this gap and make it run to fourteen. So that's it for now, guys. It's a little bit of a frustrating market. You know, sometimes you got to take small losses to kind of find the big runners, but that's part of the game, you know. Just, uh, you know, keep your wrist tight. I think you guys will be good to go. I will see you all tomorrow. Take care.